but I'm also talking about this through the lens of common sense. And the truth of it is, if you subside on a diet of Tic Tacs, you're going to eat a lot more than a thousand calories of them because they're not satiating and they're junk and they're hollow. So I want to be very clear that the primary input is total energy, but it is also impacted by many other things, including diet quality, processing, and macronutrient distribution. The second thing that is abundantly clear is that protein is the macronutrient we should be least flexible on. Stated another way, we can be quite flexible on how much carbohydrate and fat we consume to fill our energy needs. But because protein is not consumed for the purpose of ATP generation, which is the principal reason we consume carbohydrates and fats, although fats are also essential for some structural purposes, we cannot be too flexible or compromising in our protein requirements. In other words, if you really wanted to just come up with a single number to give people, I would say on average about 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight should be consumed by everybody. Now, again, I hate saying that because there's truly nothing that you can say across the board. There are clearly people who, based on what they're eating, will need more protein, and there are probably people who can get away with a little bit less. You know, uh, if you took a perfectly high-quality PDCAS 1.0 protein in a person who's not over the moon active, they could probably get away with 1.2 grams or even one gram. But boy, anything below that, and you're starting to really miss out. And by the way, as you age, that those requirements go up due to anabolic resistance. 